Hello and welcome to St. Joseph's Collegiate Institute Monsignor Martin's semifinals tonight brought to you by Western New York Athletics. I'm Nick Licata joined by Tom Prince. Tom, Timon wins the first two matchups of the year. What does St. Joe's have to do to survive and advance, get to the championship? Come on, before we get there, how could you not get excited right now? Monsignor Martin's semifinals, I just watched the first time a team get their crowd involved to announce their kids. I love that right there. That was awesome. But now to answer your question, really is you've got to come out and really attack inside the paint, right? That's going to be big. You know right now, just look at the teams. You know Timon's got a little bit more height out there, right? But you've got Glover. He's got to penetrate and get some of those easy baskets. St. Joe's wins the tip. Isaiah Odom in the backcourt. Odom brings it up. Different look for the Marauders. Justin Glover, typically their primary ball handler. Isaiah Odom, dead ball just in front of half court. Sam Greco, left wing up top, Solomon Jackson. Jackson pivots, knocks, tries to penetrate. Up top, Glover. 
13 seconds on the shot clock for the Marauders. Glover, left wing to the corner. Greco for three. Left it long. Rebound pulled down by Carla. Harrison, right wing, crosses over Glover. Throws it inside. And Amari Knox knocks it away. Justin Glover steals. He's racing. Garrison, great defense. Timon, shot. Foul, Amari Knox. Good drive by Jacob Humphrey. He's going to the line for two. So Timon early on takes the recipe. We just said that we saw Thank Joe's had to do. They're getting into the paint, especially if you could get your big involved early. That's huge. That's advantage Timon early. And speaking of the big, it's Kevin Thompson, the 6'4 center for Timon. In the two matchups against St. Joe's this year, he's had 19 and 23 for Timon as Humphrey misses the first shot. But Thompson's one of the, the, the bigs that'll play. But it's Munn that right now has got your height out here, right? Munn's the one who you just saw open down low. That's the one you're going to watch also that matchup. Jacob Humphrey opens up scoring 1-0 lead. Tigers over Marauders. Timon now in a full court press. Looks like it was a 2-2-1. Solomon Jackson opening the corner. He goes baseline. Sam Greco finds himself in the paint. Kicks to Jackson in the corner. Jackson for three. No good. Humphrey rebound. Harrison, drive shot is no good. Back-to-back -back missed shots from Kevin Thompson. Going to be a jump ball, possession, Tigers. Nick, back-to-back -back missed shots, but two rebounds and second chance opportunities. Joes cannot allow that to happen if they're going to stay in this game. And even though they're missing those shots, Timon dominating the boards early on. Thompson, left wing, guarded by Greco, size mismatch. He steps back, shot is good. That is a three-pointer. Three-point shot good from Kevin Thompson. He continues his hot streak against the Marauders. Odom, left wing, gets across half court. Glover to the corner. Jackson goes baseline. Scoop layup is good. Acrobatic Solomon Jackson. St. Joe's on the board, 4-2. That's the man who's got to get hot early. He can't wait to the second half. You need to see him early. Thompson gets a screen from Munn. Crosses over. Inside Munn, guarded by Jackson. Steal by Justin Glover. Marauders look to run. And foul committed, Kevin Thompson, his first, team first. Boy, this is, this pace is just, you can't tell right now who it actually benefits, right? Both teams want to play that fast pace right now. Let's see exactly who's going to play yep. out and be an advantage for it. Glover gets a screen from Jackson. Reverse to Odom. St. Joe is setting up their half court set. Pass tipped. Jackson guarded by Thompson. Jackson penetrates, loses the ball, fight for it. He gets it again. Foul and one. Solomon Jackson gets the bucket to go. He's going to the line. Look, that's a foul on 13, Robert Carlock. The man I'm watching going nuts right now is Solomon Jackson, the second out there. Look at him, he's going nuts for his kid. He actually, somebody walked by and he swatted him right on the backside and said, let's go right here. It's an away game for Timon, and you really wouldn't be able to tell that much. I mean, it's loud yep. for that free throw. The Timon Militia is out on Kenmore Ave tonight. Humphrey crosses half court. 5-4 lead, Marauders over Tigers. 5.30 left to go in the first quarter. Thompson, right corner, takes the screen. Carlock up top. Humphrey with it. He penetrates, kick to the corner. Three-pointer from Harrison on the way, it's good! Jaden Harrison. Corner, three-pointer, puts Timon back in front. Jackson, right wing. Odom, spins. Shot blocked, rejected, Jaden Harrison. Carlaw crosses over, gets across half court. Humphrey, looks like he's gonna slow the pace now. Harrison, corner, screen from Munn. Top of the key, Carlock thought about the three, gets it to Thompson. Thompson, step back three pointer, it's good! Kevin Thompson, step back three, and a timeout. Time, and it looks like so. Here, uh, it is, folks, you got right now the timing crowd. Oh, it's a thousand oh. points. 
A thousand so, point right there. If that was a thousand point for Thompson, that's why they're stopping the game right now. Huge congratulations to Kevin Thompson. Step back, left wing three pointer scores his thousandth point. So that's why you're seeing the celebration right there. It's a thousand point right there for Kevin Thompson. Congratulations to him. That's a huge accomplishment right there. Great, that, and, and listen, I also love when it happens at another school and that other school helps them honor that moment, right? Yep. That's a class act right there by the school. Both jobs, great job, I love that. Congratulations, Kevin Thompson. That is absolutely a huge accomplishment And a right great there. shot to hit it on, too. Oh, I mean. Incredible three-pointer. And look at this, like, that's even more. Yeah. See, that's what I mean about a class act right there. Both coaches coming out. Give it, thank you for helping us out, absolutely, 100%. God, I love that. That's what high school basketball is all about. Two class act coaches we got out here. Timon stays in their press. They're doubling Justin Glover on the inbounds. So trying to take away the best ball handler for the Marauders. Jackson drives, took a few extra steps, traveling violation, Solomon Jackson. Stuff. I couldn't tell if the contact, you know, there were yep. contact out there, right? But listen, these are guys that are gonna let you play out there, right? Yep. So you're gonna have to play through that. You can't assume the foul. Munda Harrison. Harrison crosses over. His three-pointer on the way, no good. Another offensive rebound. Put back Robert Carlock. Sam Greco open for three, pump fake. Jackson and Knox up top. And Knox throws it right to the time and bench. All momentum swinging the Tigers way early on. First substitution for the Marauders, Josh Warrington, the senior, comes in for Amari Knox. Right now, advantage time and, and advantage time and on the boards. Yep. We have seen constant putbacks. That's right now where you're seeing time and dominating the yep. game. Carlock to Thompson. Thompson wants another three. Can't get it. There was contact on the shot, no call. Jackson pulls down the rebound. Glover with it now. Glover gonna have to get going for the Marauders. He finds Odom. Great pass. Shot no good. Harrison, rebound. Harrison looks to push. Humphreys with it, driving on Glover. Humphreys' shot is good, and one! Jacob Humphrey on Glover, count the bucket. Oh, we got a shootout here, folks. There's no doubt about it. And I'll tell you, if you don't think Timon came to play for an away game, you are crazy, because like I said, we've got the crowd over there. There are points where I can hear you in the mics because it's so loud right next to us. Glover with it, working on Humphrey. 324 left to go in the first quarter. Timon tripling up the Marauders. Warrington gets to the paint, his shot, no good. Thompson, rebound. Humphrey looks to run again, he had Munn under the basket, couldn't find him. Thompson, top of the key, working on Greco. There's the size mismatch, Thompson to the rim! Glover to Odom, left wing, Greco in the corner. Odom, left wing. Glover inside the paint to the corner. Jackson for three. No good. Marauders struggling offensively. Munn running the court. Can they get it to him? Not quite. Harrison has a shot. His layup, no good. Warrington rebound. Glover looks to run. He doesn't have numbers. He pushes anyway. He loses it. Thompson steal. Fight for it. Jump ball. Josh Warrington, Kevin Thompson. Tied up. Jump ball going to be Tiger basketball. Two substitutions coming in for the Tigers. Malachi Parker and Adam Staniszewski. You had two come in right there for time and two. I mean, I'm sorry, for St. Joseph two was Voss and as well as Grable yep. right there. So St. Joe's getting even smaller now on the court with Voss and Grable coming in. Gonna see how they can make up that size. Grable top of the key. Warrington takes his screen, tries to find Glover, couldn't, finds Jackson. Jackson, right wing, spins, gets to the paint, fouled, count the bucket, Solomon Jackson. Wow is all I have to say on that. And there's Solomon Jackson the second, just as emotional as his son. I told you, you didn't, I, I told you the first time when he got up, he was going nuts out there. Listen, it, it just shows, I mean, this is, this is these Monsignor Martin games, it doesn't matter this year. I don't care whether it was 
St. Mary's. I don't care whether it was Tymon. I don't care whether it was Nichols. I don't care whether it was St. Joe's, St. Brandy's, Canisius. It was a rivalry every single night in this division is what it was. And you're seeing it right there because the parents can feel that, right? No doubt, basketball in the Monsignor Martin is unbelievable from top to bottom. These guys weren't getting a day off, period. And you're seeing that play out right here. And we're, like I said, there's no doubt this is going to be a dandy to finish this one off. It definitely earned its name, that no nights off league. The shoe fits. Solomon Jackson at the line. One shot coming for him. Voss, Grable, Jackson, Warrington, and Glover on the court for the Marauders. Parker, Humphrey, Harlock, Harrison and Strzewski on the court for Tymon. Shot is good from Jackson. Nine point lead for the Tigers. Humphrey guarded by Warrington. Steal by Solomon Jackson to the runway. Solly Jack throws it down. Are you kidding me? Listen, I told you early on, Solomon Jackson had to come up big in the first half. He's done that and more. Now he's got to get some help from those teammates. Yep. But I'll tell you, Tymon doing every, that may be the first mistake we've really seen Tymon make. They're playing yep. that well. And I'll tell you what sparked it. It was Josh Warrington's defense. He came in against O'Hara, and there he goes. Uh -oh. Josh Warrington oh. chirping. This isn't Don't good. Don't do it. Don't do it. Separate. That, Staniszewski does a great job. Yep. Yep. That's a leader out there on the court. I yep. like that. Great job. Listen, I like it. Let it go, let it go. It's gonna do nothing to help you out there. Yep. Great job, coach, coming out, calming his player down, right? Yep. You'll be fine, don't worry. The right last, now, you worry about the scoreboard. That's what you worry about right now. The last thing you wanna see yep. in a game like this is some kind of scuffle. You don't wanna see a player get ejected, especially with your season on the line. Yep. Staniszewski does a great job hopping in there, being a leader out there to court. Normally, he's the leader out in the basket, I mean, on the baseball field. He's the pitcher, he's the leader out there for timing. Great ball movement by time, and Harrison goes baseline. Layup, no good. Carlock pulls it down, and Grable stepped out of bounds. Humphrey on the baseline, the inbounder. Up top. Shensky pivots. Steal, John Grable. Glover pulls it down. Glover, right wing, slows it down. Jackson, deep three, no good. Fight for it inside. Parker runs, a little bit of contact, no call. Harrison, wide open, running the court. Good vision by Carlock. Harrison gets the layup to go. Glover sets up the offense, kicks to Grable in the corner, open for three. Can't get the bounce, Solomon Jackson, offensive rebound. Layup, no good, Solomon Jackson. Can't get it again, fight for it on the ground. Bodies hit the floor, gonna be jump ball. Possession timing, 19-10. Exactly a minute left to go in the first quarter. Solomon's gonna have to play like that all day. You gotta play like that on the boards because like we said, Tymon has won that, right? That's the reason for Tymon's lead right now, but he's got a rebound just like that. Parker has a lane, driving on Jackson, layup is good. Tymon beats that St. Joe's press easily. And now Jackson runs, he doesn't have numbers. Voss, pump fakes, mid-range shot for Voss, no good. Warrington tried to punch it. Humphreys comes away with it. Humphrey running, now he sets back. Harrison spins. Justin Glover, good steal. Two on two break. Glover to Grable and charge. Great play. Looks oh, like Staniszewski's that hurt. Staniszewski. That's his shoulder he's touching on. We got to make sure he's all right. That's first thing. I just hope he landed the wrong way on that, but does a phenomenal job of taking the charge on that one. He looks like he's all right. That's good to see. Shrugs his shoulders. Good to see Adams back up. And that's the pitching arm. I don't want to see that pitching arm get hurt. I need to see him on the mound. <laughs> that's the A lot of heart out of Stranazuski. Right 
He's picking up that energy, stepping in front of Justin Glover. His baseball coach is out over there in the stands yelling right now. I, I need my pitcher. I would imagine his heart stopped for a moment. Harrison pushes. Jameer Gooseby checked in for the Marauders, the freshman. Carlock, right wing, pivots. Parker for three. Can't get it to go. Grable, rebound. Foul on Stranzewski. Nick, you got the St. Joe's baseball coach sitting right here in Paul Nasca. You got Nick Letty out there, the baseball coach for time, and they're watching it just yeah. as much. <laughs> and that speaks a lot about how much these, everyone at these schools care about this game, that you can get other programs active in this game. Grable to, to Warrington, and steal by Harrison. Two seconds left, one. Sam Greco, half court shot. Almost went no good. Your score at the end of one, time in 21, St. Joe's 10. And to make a comment even more than that, it's not even so much about this game, it's the fact that they care about their school. Yep. They care about the athletes in this school. That's there to be, is true support right there for your school. No doubt about it. You're watching the Monsignor Martin semifinals on Western New York Athletics. We're gonna cut to commercial, we'll be back in a minute. When it's time to sell your home, start with a visit to howardhanna.com. Rank the number one real estate site for sellers. We can get you the most money in the quickest amount of time because we know where the local buyers are and how to reach them. Get started today at howardhanna.com. Avoiding care can lead to worse problems. Don't delay care. We're here for you. Score at the end of one, time in 21, St. Joe's 10. Fast paced first quarter, going the Tigers' way. St. Joe's gonna look to combat that speed. Greco, the inbounds man, Gooseby, Jackson, Knox, and Odom join him on the court. For time in Parker, Humphrey, Harrison, Carlock, and Stranjewski. Jackson drives, shot is good. Solomon Jackson doing everything for this Marauder offense. Parker to Carlock. Carlock gets across half. Parker, top of the key. Humphrey takes it. St. Joe's man-to-man -man defense. Humphrey picks up his dribble. Harrison takes a screen from Carlock. Harrison drives to the paint. Shot, no good. Carlock, offensive rebound, pivots, and throws it up top. Humphrey, left wing. On Gooseby, mid-range shot from Humphrey, no good. Tough shot, couldn't get it to fall. Odom crosses half court. Gets to the rim and charge Isaiah Odom. The second charge, and guess who it was again? It was again. And now he's shrugging his shoulder. I'm all right, I'm okay, coach. <laughs> Stranishevsky steps in front, his second charge. Humphrey. St. Joe's now in a 2-3 zone defense. Different look for the Marauders, trying to throw off that time and offense. Stranishevsky in the corner for three. No good, fight for it. Solomon Jackson comes away with it. Gooseby looks to push. Harrison with the steal, excuse me, that's Humphrey. Humphrey, Euro step, and that's gonna be time and ball. He went up, I think Jackson had a piece of it. It went I out right there. It was hard to tell. It looks like Jackson did get a finger on that. And Kevin Thompson going to check back into this game. Comes in for Malachi Parker. The freshman, Jameer Gooseby for St. Joe's, getting a lot of meaningful minutes here early in the second quarter. The youngest player on the court for either team. Thompson driving on Greco. Shot is good. Teardrop floater from Kevin Thompson extends the lead to 11. Nice soft touch on that one. Boy, what a great job. And there were three defenders right in his face right there. Yep. Knox to Greco. Guarded by Stranishevsky. Greco. Knox to the corner. Jackson thought about the three, now he takes it. Can't get it to go. Long, Harrison, rebound. Screen from Carlock. Harrison running. Timon doesn't have numbers. Looks like he's gonna slow it down a bit up top. Carlock, pump fix. Harrison wants the three. Can he get it? Yes, he can! Nothing but net, Jaden Harrison. Largest lead of the night for time in 26 Tigers, 12 Marauders. Full timeout, Coach Gabe Michaels, full timeout Marauders. 
You know, I mean, <laughs> really you've seen so far this fast pace, it's benefited time, and there's no doubt about it, right? We've seen it, and I'll tell you, when you can see too, the way Kevin Thompson has played in this game, getting his thousand point, you can see why he's a thousand point scorer. He's just come out here and just being able to seem like whether he's going inside or outside, that shot is working for him. It doesn't matter where he is on the floor right now. And then you've got right now, you can see Hyman just attacking the boards. And it seems like almost every time they come down, if it's a miss, it's a second or third opportunity that they're getting. And whether they put points back up on the board or not, they're getting too many opportunities right there. And that's the reason they're up right now by 14 points. And Thompson and Harrison kind of run that two-headed monster offense four time, and they both average above 20 points a game. But it's the other contributors. It's, it's Stranishevsky stepping in front and taking two charges. Everything is coming together for time, and everyone playing their best offense and defense. And that's what it's going to take to get to the Monsignor Martin Championship. It's a team game that they're playing right now, total team game. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that St. Joe's is not, but you got one guy that's pretty much just putting points up on the board right now. Yep. Knocks to Glover. Glover gonna have to get going for the Marauders. Jackson, right wing, knocks up top. Odom. Timon now in a 2-3 zone. It tends to be the kryptonite for the Marauders. Greco can't get the three to fall. Humphrey pulls it down. That 2-3 zone has been stifling on the Marauders offense all year. Harrison throws it to Knox, there's a fight for it. Carlock got a piece of it. Harrison, mid-range shot, no good. Odom pulls down the rebound. Odom pulls it back now. Odom gets to the rim, floater is good! Isaiah Odom and one, he's going to the line. Great job. See, what did we say early on? Remember you asked me what was going to take? And I said penetration into the paint right there to make things happen. If you've noticed, all of Solomon's points have been what? Penetration into the paint, and you saw the same thing right there from Odom. And, and of that penetration, you get rewarded with that. You get rewarded with a free throw. Yep. Or if the collapse eventually happens and you're getting in there, you're going to have guys wide open yep. that are eventually going to be able to hit your threes. Humphrey, top of the key. St. Joe's still in that 2-3 defense. Looks like they trap the wing, and they go for it now. Thompson up top. Harrison for three, deep three, no good. Jackson pulls it down. Odom to Glover. Glover, eyes up, finds Greco. Greco in the corner. Goes baseline. Throws it right to Parker. Parker behind the back. Humphrey, mid-range shot is short. Glover pulls it down. Glover running. Glover's layup is good. Justin Glover finally giving that Marauder offense a spark. Cuts the lead to nine. Looks like St. Joe's running a tandem 2-3 defense, which means one of the two high men is going to come down and press the guard up the court. That was Odom that time. Now they fall back into that 2-3. Harrison in the corner. Humphrey. Pump fake. Harrison thought about it. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Humphrey and Harrison pass back and forth. They continue to do so. Harrison to Humphrey again. Humphrey crosses over. Parker with it. Two seconds on the shot clock. Thompson for three. Short. Didn't hit anything. Going to be a shot clock violation. Marauder possession. Nick, watch over here with the zone you saw from Tymon. One way to go is to be able to pass and try to find the open man to break the zone. You can't do it across the thing. They're too yep. length. The length yep. of the timing's too long. They're going to cut those lanes down. The easiest way to be a 2-3 zone is to stick a man right on the free throw line. Timing back in man defense now, and Amari Knox gets to the rim and one. Is that their fourth and one of the game? Yeah, I think just I'm about. Very... So you're talking about one ways to get your guy right there on, on that you're talking about that gets in the interior. That's getting into the paint, in essence, that we're talking about. There is right? a timeout by time. Or you're going to beat him by the three. You yep. go over the top of it, of course, right? The other way is watch the zones, especially when you make a three and you see them come up a little bit. Usually movement along the baseline will find an opening along that baseline too, right? But you will always say pass, pass, movement through the zone. Move, move, and pass right there. You'll find the open man somewhere in the zone. 
right now, but when you move and pass, you better not try to go across the zone. Yeah. Listen, that's what Syracuse everybody knows as a team in college that has done it, right? What are they known for? The length. They want you to make those passes because they're going to cut those lanes down with their length. And that's one thing you can't do right here. That's the only thing that you don't want to do and make that mistake. You want to make the easy pass. And speaking of that baseline, the short corner is going to be your best friend yep. in, in beating a 2-3 zone. Amari Knox at the line, one shot for him, chance to cut the lead to six. <laughs> Listen to that. Knox shot is good. Folks, just so you realize, that's the time and crowd here at St. Joe's, right? It just shows you how loud it really is here. A little scoreboard watching in Monsignor Martin. Canisius up 35 to 18 on St. Mary's. That game two minutes away from halftime. Tell you, we definitely wanted to see. I want to see Massimo, right? <laughs> Match up with Declan yeah. Ryan over there. And five second violation. This is the spark Josh Warrington provides. He's a battery for this St. Joe's defense. He avoided the technical earlier. He comes back with a little. Less passion this time, still gets the steal. Gonna be Marauder Ball. Glover gets across half court. Guarded by Humphrey. Screened by Knox. Glover in and out. Odom in the corner for three. Can't get it to go. Humphrey comes down with it. Eyes up, he looks to run. And kick ball violation, Solomon Jackson. Kicked it right out of bounds. 3.15 left to go in the second quarter. 26 Tigers, 20 Marauders. That's Jacob Humphrey, slow to get up. You wondered if he just tripped or got caught up there, right there. Just hope he's okay. Hopefully he can just walk it off. I think he looks over at coaches. I'm all right. Yep. Let's go. Looks like coach for the play. Parker, back to Humphrey. St. Joe's still in that 2-3 defense. Harrison looks to the corner. Inside, Thompson. Pivots inside, shot no good. He gets his own rebound, goes up again, and is fouled. That's either on Knox or Glover, and it's going to be on Amari Knox. That not only was a second or third opportunity for a timing, that was a second or third opportunity by Thompson alone showing his heart out there getting those rebounds. And Thompson, like I said, he's averaged those 21 points a game this year against St. Joe's. He's at the line shooting two. First one good. One of the only student sections that are here in Western New York that is behind the basket that you got. And you're looking right at all yeah. of them as you try to make those shots. He's good on both. Kevin Thompson wards off the Marauder Rowdies to extend the time and lead to eight. Thompson is the man today, I'll tell you that. Jackson, it's a screen from Odom. Knox drives, Odom in the corner. Odom goes baseline, jump stops, Greco, corner, pump fakes. Jackson to Glover. Glover to Greco, Greco for three, no good. Jackson can't get the offensive rebound, Greco gets it himself. Jackson, Euro steps, layup, no good. And kept in bounds, great play, Malachi Parker. Wow. Sent it right to Carlock, it's gonna be time in basketball. Humphrey gets it across half. Harrison directs traffic. Thompson in the corner. Jackson got a hand on it. Thompson gets it back. In the corner, Parker for three. He can't get it to go. Glover looks to run. Crosses over Humphrey. Glover steps back. Gets a screen from Knox. Glover, mid-range shot is no good. Harrison with the rebound. Wait, how about this pace though, Nick? Slows down the pace. <laughs> I mean, I'm gasping for breath. I don't know how they're not. Thompson for three! Kevin Thompson, deep three-pointers. Extends the lead to 11. Odom crosses over Harrison. Odom, left wing, drives, Euro steps to the rim. Odom gets the shot to go. Little bit of contact, no call either way. That was Malachi Parker that stepped in front. Odom nearly got the steal. Kevin Thompson couldn't quite corral the pass. Thompson picks up his dribble. Sam Greco almost got a hand on it. Thompson freed up for another shot. He takes the three. He takes the layup. Excuse me, he does not take the three. He gets right to the rim. 
and gets the layup to go. Odom, left wing. Jackson, Harrison, Gardson. Jackson crosses over. Great defense by Harrison. Oh, he says he got him in the arm is what he said right there. He says he gets him in the arm. But boy, I'll tell you, he, he gave us the look, Harrison, like, yeah. Man, no, I did not, is what he was and giving I, us that I, look. I think I see it his way, because I think we, I simultaneously said great defense by Harrison. But I mean, it is six to seven in fouls, so a relatively even game called, excuse me, to this point, as Kevin Thompson subs out. So Solomon Jackson at the line, St. Joe's in the bonus, one and one coming for Jackson. And six fouls against Joe, so it would happen time and would shoot in the next one too, but only 52 seconds left. Jackson can't get the one and only shot to go. Lover thought that one was yeah. off, uh, off timing right there. So that, that's kind of the checks and balance. Yeah, it all, it, it all kind of evens out. Humphrey slow to get over half court. Back to Humphrey, top of the key. Euro stops, shot is good, the floater. Jacob Humphrey, tough shot. Right in the mouth of that Marauder defense. He gets the teardrop floater to fall. St. Joe's can have the last shot if they choose to take it. Glover to Warrington, right wing. 16 seconds left. Expect them to go at around the 9-10 second mark. And oh, oh no! Oh no! This time in defense. It, well, I don't know. I think the he time. just I mean, turned his head on that yeah. one. I just think he was trying to, you know what I mean, get the next one off. I mean, it's a mix of great time and defense. We got Muslim scoring and, and from Marauder the errors. Going into halftime of that Canisius St. Mary's game. Canisius up 13, 41 to 28. Solomon Jackson with the steal. He's got one second. He takes oh. the three. I don't think he was aware of the timing. He probably could have gotten another step. Would have been a tough shot either way. Your score going into halftime. Time in 35, St. Joe's 22. You know, um, as we get ready here, and, and, and I don't know how much we're going to be able to do at halftime, um, and the reason sometimes you hear us go kind of quiet, folks, is because when music plays, we can't be yeah. on because uh, the, there's old copyright issues and everything to it. So that's why you'll see us go down. But real quick, a couple of plays ago, you saw St. Joe's had four guys on one set of plays right there going to the paint. Yep. Every time they went to the paint, what happened? The kick out went out, and either somebody had an open shot or there was a one pass to get the open shot. Yep. That really, to me, is going to be the key for, for St. Joe's to get back in this. Secondly is you've got to attack the boards. You cannot let anyone get to the boards the two and three opportunities. Yep. If I'm timing, I'm doing the same thing I've been <laughs> doing, right? I want this fast pace that's in my advantage right now. I'm going to attack the boards the way I am. And guess what? I'm going to go right behind Thompson right now, my 1,000-point scorer, yep. because he's showing me he's got his shot. Yep. So really is there has to be some adjustments, and we always say it. Coaches are now going to go to halftime. What are the adjustments that you're going to make? Yep. So we'll see. So why don't we why don't we take a quick break too? We'll and uh, we'll come back as we get ready for the second half right here, and we can hear a little bit from our sponsors that help us bring this game to you. But uh, boy, what a great game! As right now, you all know, we got Canisius on the one end. Right now, up on St. Mary's, we got right now time in leading this one as we get ready for the two semifinal games to come together for a final. Boy, thank you for When it's time to sell your home, start with a visit to .com. Rank the number one real estate site for sellers. A few clicks will show you the sales price you can expect for your home. We can get you the most money in the quickest amount of time because we know where the local buyers are and how to reach them. So if it's time to sell your home, visit howardhanna.com today and we'll match you with a local Howard Hanna agent to sell your home fast. Our homes have become offices, gyms, schools, and playgrounds. And at Western New York Immediate Care, we know you may need us now more than ever. Whether you've suffered a minor injury or just aren't...
aren't feeling well. Western New York Immune Care physicians are trained to diagnose and treat most non-life-threatening injuries and illnesses. With five convenient locations open seven days a week, help is never far away. Life has changed, but Western New York Immediate Care is still here for you. If you've been injured in an auto accident, large or small, call 681-4088. RES Physical Medicine and Rehab right away. If you are in pain or just sore, don't take chances. Call RES today and take advantage of their 24 to 48 hour appointment pledge. With no co-pays, RES will help navigate the confusing world of no fault insurance with you. So you can concentrate on getting better. 681-4088, RES Physical Medicine and Rehab the most important call you can make after an auto accident. 300 Level Media is a locally owned and operated multi-purpose media company right here in Western New York. You'll find us everywhere covering the Bills, Sabres, Buttes, Bisons, Big Four Basketball, local college sports, and much more. Our staff offers a variety of media services from video production, live event coverage, audio broadcasts, professional voiceovers, camera operation, and videography. Visit www.300levelmedia.com or give us a call at 716-427-2600. This is 300 Level Media. See a new car? Forget about it. How about home? Forget about it. Does it get good rates? Forget about it. And you're saying there's no problem too big for this guy? Forget about it. Johnny, the guy we've been talking about. Johnny, this is Paul Wolf. Mr. Wolf, it's nice to meet you. Thank you for the invite. Not a problem. This is Paul, not Mr. Wolf. Oh, sorry, Paul. Johnny, forget about it. For all your insurance needs, call 835-WOLF and... Forget Logistics Plus is a global transportation provider headquartered in Erie, PA, with locations worldwide, including right here in Western New York. Logistics Plus is consistently recognized as a fast-growing transportation and logistics company, great supply chain partner, top freight broker, leading project cargo manager, and a great place to work. With a strong passion for excellence, our 500-plus employees put the plus in logistics. Call our Buffalo office today for an efficient personal approach for all of your transportation needs. When it's time to sell your home, start with a visit to HowardHanna.com. Rank the number one real estate site for sellers. We can get you the most money in the quickest amount of time because we know where the local buyers are and how to reach them. Get started today at HowardHanna.com. Even the most prepared moms experience the unexpected. When you do, we're here for you. Avoiding care can lead to worse problems. Don't delay care. We're here for you. Logistics Plus is a global transportation provider headquartered in Erie, PA, with locations worldwide, including right here in Western New York. Logistics Plus is consistently recognized as a fast-growing transportation and logistics company, great supply chain partner, top freight broker, leading project cargo manager, and a great place to work. With a strong passion for excellence, our 500-plus employees put the plus in logistics. Call our Buffalo office today for an efficient personal approach for all of your transportation needs. When it's time to sell your home, start with a visit to HowardHanna.com, ranked the number one real estate site for sellers. A few clicks will show you the sales price you can expect for your home. We can get you the most money in the quickest amount of time because we know where the local buyers are and how to reach them. So if it's time to sell your home, visit HowardHanna.com today and we'll match you with a local Howard Hanna agent to sell your home fast.
When it's time to sell your home, start with a visit to howardhanna.com, ranked the number one real estate site for sellers. A few clicks will show you the sales price you can expect for your home. We can get you the most money in the quickest amount of time because we know where the local buyers are and how to reach them. So if it's time to sell your home, visit howardhanna.com today and we'll match you with a local Howard Hanna agent to sell your home fast. Our homes have become offices, gyms, schools, and playgrounds. And at Western New York Immediate Care, we know you may need us now more than ever. Whether you've suffered a minor injury or just aren't feeling well, Western New York Immediate Care physicians are trained to diagnose and treat most non-life-threatening injuries and illnesses. With five convenient locations open seven days a week, help is never far away. Life has changed, but Western New York Immediate Care is still here for you. Is he a new car? Forget about it. How about home? Forget about it. Does he get good rates? Forget about it. And you're saying there's no problem too big for this guy? Forget about it. Well, this is Johnny, the guy we've been talking about. Johnny, this is Paul Wolf. Mr. Wolf, it's nice to meet you. Thank you for the invite. Not a problem. It's Paul, not Mr. Wolf. Oh, sorry, Paul. Johnny, forget about it. For all your insurance needs, call 835 Wolf and. If you've been injured in an auto accident, large or small, call 681-4088. RES Physical Medicine and Rehab right away. If you are in pain or just sore, don't take chances. Call RES today and take advantage of their 24 to 48 hour appointment pledge. With no co-pays, RES will help navigate the confusing world of no fault insurance with you. So you can concentrate on getting better. 681-4088, RES Physical Medicine and Rehab. The most important call you can make after an auto accident. Logistics Plus is a global transportation provider headquartered in Erie, PA, with locations worldwide, including right here in Western New York. Logistics Plus is consistently recognized as a fast-growing transportation and logistics company, great supply chain partner, top freight broker, leading project cargo manager, and a great place to work. With a strong passion for excellence, our 500-plus employees put the plus in logistics. Call our Buffalo office today for an efficient personal approach for all of your transportation needs. Avoiding care can lead to worse problems. Don't delay care. We're here for you. When you're ready to buy a home, start your search at howardhanna.com. You'll be the first to see new listings, find similar properties, and connect with a local Howard Hanna agent. Get started today at howardhanna.com. Welcome back to St. Joseph's Bleach Institute. You're watching the Monsignor Martin semifinals on Western New York Athletics. Your score heading into the second half, time in 35, St. Joe's 22. Like I said, we, we talked about it. Kevin Thompson leading the way, 17 points in this one. Your leading score right now for St. Joe's, Solomon Jackson with 12. And those were early on, if you remember in the first quarter. Definitely, it's gonna see is what adjustments did St. Joe's gonna make to make sure they really can make sure that Timon's getting limited to one shot and that they're not attacking the boards and winning all those uh, all those points in the paint and all those points on the board and those pullback points. Right now, that seems to be happening. And Timon, man, they got to figure out to keep that going. And again, yes, folks, that's the Timon crowd that you hear in there. That's how loud it is in here. It's been something to watch. And another thing that I think we forgot to mention early on, another thing fueling timing, is that this is a rematch of the Monsignor Martin Championship from last year. So a little added fuel for Timon. St. Joe's won that game, and they are the reigning Monsignor Martin champs. Good point. It's something we didn't think about. So both coaches, uh, or uh, Coach Rowe, asked for an explanation on that one. Got it. It was an over and back, though. And St. Joe's with the ball. 
Solomon Jackson for three to open up the second half. No good. Odom pivots. Glover tries to penetrate. Out to Solomon Jackson. Wide open for three. He makes him pay. There's that penetration you were talking about. Glover gets inside, kicks out to a wide open Solomon Jackson. Cuts the lead to 10. Thompson, left wing. Man, top of the key. So here's the change. It's a man to man. Yep. Man inside, blocked by Amari Knox. Solomon Jackson running the court, crosses over inside. Can't get the layup to go. He's fouled. He's going to the line for two. So first, there's the first adjustment, right? What are the adjustments we're going to make? What do they do? St. Joe's goes man to man right yep. here. I like that move actually right here, especially because St. Joe's does have some speed out there on the court. Great move here by Coach. I like it. Let's see how it plays out though. Jackson's first shot, no good. St. Joe's definitely coming out with a bit more energy than they had in the first half. In the second, going to see if they can sustain that. But remember, their energy all came from the man that's on the line right now, too. Yep. yep. Solomon Jackson misses both free throws. The lead remains at 10. Kevin Thompson to Carlock. Carlock, right wing. Harrison gets a screen from Carlock, crosses over, working on Greco. Man, top of the key. Humphrey takes his screen. Steps back, Carlock up top. 16 on the shot clock. Thompson on Jackson, step back. Kevin Thompson rims out. Odom eyes up. Now he pulls back, finds Glover. Glover races across half court. Inside, Justin Glover, no good. He goes to the ground hard. Harrison running. Layup is no good from Jaden Harrison. He's fouled. 33, Isaiah Odom. Looks a push foul. Harrison's going to the line for two. That pace has not stopped from the first half. I mean, listen, folks, if you, you, you can't enjoy a game like this, I'm not sure what basketball game you can enjoy, right? This is really fun to watch. It's been a blast. I mean, both teams just do an incredible job. First shot good from Jaden Harrison. Second shot from Harrison on the way. It's true. Jackson to Glover. Timon, full court press. Looks like a 2-2-1 press. Odom tries to beat it. He gets across half, throws it to Greco. Glover to Greco in the corner. Open three-pointer. No good. Man, rebound. Carlock to Humphrey. Humphrey races down. Thompson. Has a lane, Euro steps, runs into Knox. Blocking foul on Amari Knox, and one. Count the bucket. Thompson is just, he really is making his presence known in this game. Sam Greco comes out for Josh Warrington. And you can see what you said, Warrington's been your spark plug for St. Joe's. Got to make something spark right now happen. Kevin Thompson's second free throw is good. And Josh Warrington provides that defensive spark, but I mean, their defense has been pretty good to this point. Solomon Jackson, pump fakes blocked by Kevin Thompson. Humphreys looks to run. Eurostep, Humphrey to the rim, can't get it to go. Warrington finds Glover. Glover looks to run. St. Joe's three on two break. Jackson in the corner, sets his feet, can't get the shot to go. And it looks like it was hit out of bounds by either Mann or Humphrey. Boy, I mean, it, folks, it just, <laughs> you can just hear it. Like, I can't believe how loud it is in the gym. Knox up top to Jackson. 540 left to go in the third quarter. Glover crosses over, gets to the rim, shot is good. Contested shot, Carlock was over and helped defense. Glover gets it to go. Humphrey, Glover with the steal. Glover goes up, layup no good. Good defense from Humphrey. Layup, put back shot is good. Timeout, Coach Rowe, timeout, timing. 
40 Tigers, 29 Marauders, 520 left to go in the third quarter. It looked like, was that gonna be a run that we were gonna see, right? Could time it push this one away? And no, here we go. The answer not only comes from St. Joe's, it comes from the man right there at St. Joe's. Glover with the two big baskets right there off of steel, does a great job. That's the way to spark to your team. And you can see his, his emotion, that may be the most emotion I've seen yep. from him in a long time. It shows his, let's go, it's time right now. And this is a four year varsity player for St. Joe's. This needs to be Justin Glover's half. This needs to be his coming out party. This has to be Justin Glover's ball game down the stretch. Yeah, no, no doubt about it. And you can see his. And I all love to Solomon Jackson, great player. But this has been Justin Glover's team the, the, the whole three years he's been here, and it, and it needs to continue to be. But listen, you can't do it alone. Yep. And that's the reason where you talk about Solomon Jackson right now, right? Yep. Listen, it's not one player that's going to do it. And, and you wouldn't even be in this game right now if it wasn't yeah. Solomon Jackson. Yeah. So they know that, right? But he needs some help right now. And Glover says, guess what? I'm on the way. Yep. Here I come. Defense to offense out of Justin Glover cuts the lead to 11. St. Joe's now full court man-to-man -man press. Knocks on Carlock. Harrison guarded by Odom. He sets up the play, crosses over. Harrison had about one second to get over the half court line. He made it just in the nick of time. Carlock to man up top. Harrison, right wing, directs traffic. Three pointer from Harrison, misses everything. Man to try and get the offensive rebound. He hit it right to Solomon Jackson, who looks to run. Spins off Humphrey. Glover for three. No good. Thompson on the run, one on three break. Josh Warrington, the hustle play, gonna be jump ball. Should be Marauder basketball, it is. I gotta tell you, if Glover hit that right there, <laughs> this place was gonna go off, the roof was gonna yep. come off. I think that's only his second attempted three of the game. He really which is hasn't really had surprising. much shots. He really had, but listen. We saw it early on, and the change also, remember, early on he wasn't playing point yep. either, right? So, I mean, a lot of changes right there that you've seen. Glover takes the double screen from Jackson and Knox. Warrington pivots, Glover up top. Knox in the corner, back to Jackson. Jackson drives, foul on the ground, no shot. I believe that's on Harrison. Oh, excuse around. me, that's on, yeah, that's, that's on Chemzewski. Movement around the zone though, right? You saw that great movement around the zone and then finally opened up penetration into the paint. Glover takes the pass from Knox up top, screen by Jackson. Odom wide open for three. three. Makes some pay, Isaiah Odom cuts it to eight. Slowly but surely, St. Joe's clawing their way back. Humphrey, Glover nearly got a hand on it. Glover tenacious on defense, pass to the corner. Janiszewski inside, Humphrey in the corner. Goes baseline, up top, Carlock, and a charge! Amari Knox steps in front. Robert Carlock, charge, foul. Gonna be Marauder ball. That's the first time it's been the opposite way. Yep. We saw Staniszewski take those charges for time, and now St. Joe's gets one. Solomon Jackson keeps that Odom pass inbounds and Warrington is down grabbing that ankle. Really want to make sure he's okay and the players are going to leave the court. I'm not sure how he went down but our thoughts are with Josh Warrington right now. So folks, just so you know, we have, I lost my camera feed that was on the, uh, the scoreboard right there. So uh, we're gonna give you updates. So uh, I apologize right now, it's, um, I just lost the feed on there. So uh, we'll give you updates. We're gonna see if we can try to get it up. I'll tell you right now, my camera for this, how I have it, is on one of the backboards clear across the way that are bringing the signal over to us. So. Uh, I apologize, that's why I can't run over and make an easy change to it. We're gonna see what we can do about getting it back up, but it's time in 40, St. Joe's 32, with 3.49 left right now inside the third quarter. Josh Warrington was, was helped to the sidelines. 
So we play on here at St. Joe's. The substitution in for him was Sam Greco. Glover throws it right to Harrison, he got it back! Jackson, pump fakes, goes inside, and a, the fourth charge of the game! Robert Carlock steps in front of Jackson. So at this point, it's safe to say pretty much any contact down low is gonna go to the defense. Amari Knox almost got the steal, he got a paw on the ball. Thompson directs traffic, now he sets up the play. Carlock to Humphrey, guarded by Glover. Humphrey stops, pops, mid-range shot. Couldn't get it to go, just rimmed out. Glover slows it down. Pressured by Humphrey and a foul on Jacob Humphrey. Tough foul by Humphrey about 46 feet away from the rim. Probably one that he wants back and now he's gonna be subbed out. Malachi Parker is gonna check back into the game. Sam Greco, the inbounds man, 40 to 32, 319 left in the third quarter. Glover, screen from Knox, back screen, he takes it. Over to Greco in the corner, pump fakes. Jackson for three, left, missed everything. Kevin Thompson, pump fakes, racing, past Odom. Thompson, Euro steps, layup, oh my goodness, Kevin Thompson, 94 feet. Odom crosses over to the rim, pinned by Kevin Thompson. Harrison, thought about the three, crosses over. Now he slows down, up top, Thompson, stepping back. Harrison, left wing, guarded by Glover. Screen from Carlock, Harrison goes baseline on Greco, scoop layup, no good. Glover with the rebound. Three on three break for the Marauders, Glover's gonna pull it out. 10 point lead, 42-32 Tigers over Marauders. Sam Greco up top, 4-3. No good, Parker rebound, throws it down to Harrison. Sam Greco wasn't expecting it, foul on Greco, Harrison's going to the line. All players gassed right now, Justin Glover's still behind that half court line. 2.13 left to go in the third quarter. Jaden Harrison at the line for two. Harrison's first shot is good. Checking in for St. Joe's number two, Devon Laws. Second shot from Harrison on the way to extend the lead to 11. He's good on both. Odom, 2-2-1 two, two, press back for the Tigers. Odom passes half court. Odom drives, penetrates, out to Knox, Knox for three. No good, Voss has checked into this game. Harrison pulls it down. Parker, Parker for three. Looks like Justin Glover had a hand on it and now Glover looks to run. Glover whip pass to Voss. Voss penetrates, floater is no good. Fight for it, Harrison comes away with it and a jump ball. Voss had a hand on it, so did Harrison. Gonna be Tiger possession, 44-32, 1.36 left to go in the third quarter. Inbound to Carlock. Carlock guarded by Knox. Parker, guarded by Glover, good move by Parker. Thompson, up top, steps back, step back three for Kevin Thompson. Long, Jaden Harrison offensive rebound, he spins his put back, no good, Carlock offensive rebound. He spins and he's fouled. Two offensive rebounds for the Tigers, foul on Isaiah Odom. That's been right now, Timon's recipe for success, it really has attack the boards, and it's not been one guy, it's been every yep. single guy on the floor going to attack those boards. Carlock's shot at the line. 
No good, this is the front end. Brendan Murphy checks in now, his first minutes of the game for the Marauders, Amari Knox comes out. 44-32, time and lead St. Joe's, 44-32 right now. We apologize again, our scoreboard camera went down, so we'll give you guys what's going on on the score. Second shot good from Carlock, and Alvin Martin is gonna come in for him. 13 point lead for the Tigers, Odom. Flex the inbounds pass. Finds Glover, three seconds to get it over half court. They do with two seconds to spare. Odom, right wing, crosses over Harrison. 57 seconds left, and a foul on Jaden Harrison. That's his second team fifth. Solomon Jackson, the inbounds man, Glover. Just in front of half court, down screen from Murphy. Voss for three, no good. Thompson, rebound. 46 seconds for Timon. Thompson, inside to Mann, and a foul on Brendan Murphy. Mann's going to the line for two. Mann. St. Joe's one foul away from putting time in, in the bonus. Man's first shot, no good. So folks, I'm doing the best I can to give you an update. Did you see I've kind of uh, made a scoreboard there for you right now. Um, we'll, and we'll just keep you updated on the time. No good on both shots from Alvin Mann. Solomon Jackson loses his dribble, 38 seconds for the Marauders. Glover, screen from Murphy. Glover, floater, missed just about everything. Stranishevsky throws it off Voss. Odom, thought about the three, now he goes inside. Scoop layup, no good. Foul on Mann, I believe, was inside. Odom's going to the line for two. Another scoreboard watch in that other Monsignor Martin semifinal game. Canisius is up 69 to 35 on St. Mary's with just under seven minutes left to go in that game. Wow. So as of right now, it looks like Canisius will be advancing. So the winner of this one will go, is it at Canisius or at uh, Villa Maria? Well, they're the number year? one seed. So at, it was supposed to be higher seed was gonna host from what we understood. So it looks like we're still, I remember pre-COVID, the games would be at Villa Maria for the championship. Yep. So this year the higher seed gets it. So one of these two teams will travel to Canisius on February 27th to face off against the Crusaders for the Monsignor Martin Championship. Isaiah Odom sheds the lead to 11. Parker to Thompson. Thompson to the corner, Stranishevsky. Thompson, right wing, 11 seconds, 10 seconds for him to work with. Spins on Glover. Parker in the corner for three, no good. He gets his own rebound, Solomon Jackson got a piece of it. Glover with one second. Glover, floater, no good. Wow. Looks like there was some contact on that shot. A lot of fans here wanted a call, none was made. And including Coach Michaels, he's out on the court asking what happened on that one. Stranishevsky stepped in front of Glover with about one second left. Not enough contact to call a foul, so we play on here at St. Joe's, the final eight. Your score going into the fourth quarter, time in 45, St. Joe's 34. So I apologize, folks, like I said, our one camera that we had on the scoreboard went down. We were able to make something work. Unfortunately, it went down. Um, so I'm gonna give you a score. You can see I got it up right now. You can see who's timing and who's St. Joe's on the screen. It's just now, uh, we don't have a clock. So we'll make sure we tell you what, how much time is left inside uh, as we go into the fourth quarter right here. But it is the fourth quarter. Uh, we've got ourselves a dandy right here, no doubt about it. On the court for the Marauders, Murphy, Glover, Jackson, Gooseby, and Odom. On the court for the Tigers, Humphrey. Looks like they got six guys in the huddle. So it's, it's Humphrey, Parker, Thompson, Harrison, and Stranishevsky.
boy, well, I'll tell you, we really expected this to, you know, to be the game, and it's just been this is back, back and forth, back and forth. Seems like every run so far has been answered, but it just seems St. Joe's can't get over the top, and part of the reason, like we talked about, is just the way that Timon has been on the boards. Glover freed up for three. He kicks out to Odom. Odom for three. Too hard. Jameer Gooseby, offensive rebound. Gooseby resets the offense. Odom up top. 28 seconds for him to work with. Odom crosses over. Mid-range shot. No good. Thompson, uncontested rebound. It was Stranishevsky running the court. They couldn't get it to him. Parker, mid-range shot. Missed everything. Good defense from Brendan Murphy. You know, the, the question that you, if we get a chance to talk to Kevin Thompson, what have you been more impressed about? Rebounds, scoring, or defense? Solomon Jackson. Oh. Tough layup, my goodness! Solomon Jackson, the acrobatic scoop on the baseline. Single digit lead for Timon. Stranishevsky, left wing, Humphrey, guarded by Murphy. Thompson for three. Oh my goodness, the response! Kevin Thompson, now they're trading shots. Jackson gets inside, Euro steps, can't get it to go. Thompson rebound, throws it down to Harrison. Glover steals. Glover looks to run, St. Joe's has numbers. Glover to the corner, Jackson, pump fakes. To Gooseby, Glover, open for three. Can he get it? Yes, he can! Justin Glover for three. Nine point lead, time in 48, St. Joe's 39. 6.29 left to go in the fourth quarter. What more do you say than wow, right? What more do you say than wow? That's really what it's been. It's just been wow. We've seen both, all the big players, like we talk about going to the game, right? You always say is, if we if we had done our pregame today, it would have been, okay, who are we gonna look out for? It would have been Thompson, it would have been Glover, it would have been Jackson, right? It would have been the same guys. But really, this has been a game where the stars really have stepped up in this one, right? When you talk about it, you talk about Solomon Jackson did it in the first half. We talked about Glover. We Remember we said, I'm coming, I'm coming, yep. here it is, yep. he's coming, he's here. And Thompson just unbelievable what he's done on the other end. And he has been a part of every single answer that Timon has, uh, has brought. But listen, folks, this is a semifinal game. This is what we wanted yep. right here. And I'll tell you, it could come down to the end right here is who's gonna come up big or who's gonna make that big stop. Yep. And Kevin Thompson, not only a phenomenal basketball player, but a phenomenal athlete oh, too. Oh yeah, you can see it. The way, just his leaping ability, right? Yep. It, it, rebounding is not only about being in the position, it's heart, right? It's aggressive. It's going to make sure that you want that more than the other guy does. And he's really showing how much of an athlete he really is. Inbounds pass to Harrison, Grable and Murphy trap on defense, two on one break. Humphrey has a layup. Not entirely sure, must have been a breakdown defensively by the Marauders. Justin Glover was completely left alone in the backcourt. Grable for three. Oh my God, God, Grable! They're trading punches here. <laughs> Carlock races down. It looks like he pushed off Grable, missed the layup. Carlock gets the offensive rebound, pump fakes. His layup is good. We went from an entirely defensive basketball game to an entirely offensive basketball game. Glover fouled. He's going to the line. The offense is here trading shots. Back and forth, racing down the course. Justin Glover is at the line for two. St. Joe's is in the bonus. Time in one foul away from being in the bonus, seven to six in fouls. 52-42, 5.54 left to go in the fourth quarter. Justin Glover's first shot is good. So folks, we're keeping you updated on the scores. So uh, we do have that at least updated. The only thing is not the time. Oh, wow. A little early for that, I think. I have never seen that chant go well. Humphrey races down the court. This press by St. Joe's is really not working to this point. I mean, Timon has gotten three straight layups. They just missed two of them. St. Joe's with the ball, down eight. Justin Glover, screen from Murphy. Glover, Euro steps into the paint, fouled. Who has to take over this game? It's number five, 
for the Marauders. Justin Glover fouled going to the line. And I don't know if you saw, but I think Justin just made a symbol I, right at I, that, those, uh, that time in I believe that was directed that right at the time in Militia. Like I said, a little early for that. There's 536 left in this game still. Glover's first shot good. Malachi Parker checks in, coming in for Robert Carlock. But watch, all this penetration you're seeing into the paint. Right? We talked about this. Right? It's a recipe for success. Watch it. There's going to be three mans that are open. They're going to need to hit some threes. Yep. Justin Glover, four for four on his last four free throws. Thompson guarded by Glover. Glover hounding on defense. Parker working on Murphy. Foul on Murphy. Shooting foul. And Thompson's going to the line for two. So, yeah, it's not, a, it's not necessarily that it's a shooting foul. Remember, both teams right. are in the penalty right now. But that was, we have at least a one on one. That could have gone either way. It was one of yeah. those bang bang plays. It was called a shooting foul. So, two shots guaranteed for Malachi Parker. The importance of that call. And he misses the first, so a real important call as now he gets another crack at the free throw. Odom comes in for Brendan Murphy. Five twenty-six left to go in the fourth quarter. Six point lead, Tigers over Marauders. Parkers misses both. And the offensive rebound, Jacob Humphrey. Stranishevsky for three. Oh my goodness, Stranishevsky. He brings the roof down on the diamond side of the court. Glover fouled. Gonna be on the ground. But what Where was all this offense in the first half? But what do you say was the reason for that right there? It was penetration and a kick out. Well, it was, no, it was the offensive rebound. Well, right, the offensive then, rebound that led into it, right? right. It's the key to time and success today. They, they absolutely dominated the boards, yep. and it's the difference in the game. Glover now five for five on his last five free throws. Five fourteen still left. There's still a lot of time, folks. Five fourteen is a ton of time. Thompson guarded by Glover. Seven point lead for Timon. Stranishevsky guarded by Jackson inside. Harrison over Odom can't get it to go. Grable rebound. Glover looks to push. Jackson. On Stranishevsky, foul on Stranishevsky, and they wave off the bucket. It, they, was, it was early. It was, they that, wave off that the was bucket. on the floor. Stranishevsky grabbed him on the yeah. drive. Bucket does not count. Jackson. But it does. doesn't matter. It's two, yep. it's two right here. So they're, yeah, he's going to get two. They're in the double penalty right now. So now you've got to make your free throws. And he does. Nothing but net. Solomon Jackson, first one good. But listen. Both teams are in penalties. Right. Free throws are going to be how you're going to right. win or lose this game right now. Jackson's second shot. That's the bounce. Five point lead for Timon. Humphrey guarded by Grable. Humphrey drives past. Now he steps back. Humphrey gets a screen from Thompson. It is incredibly loud in this gym. Thompson and a block called. Justin Glover in disbelief. He tried to step in front, didn't quite get there in time. Kevin Thompson going to the line for two. We've seen so many offensive charges called. Boy, you, you thought, could it be another one right here? That's a third personal foul on Justin Glover. He has three with 4.38 left to go in the fourth quarter. Thompson. First shot is good. Second shot from Thompson. Good on both. Glover slows the pace down. Odom crosses over Humphrey. Four seconds to get over, he gets it. Odom guarded by Humphrey. Solomon Jackson up top. He drives his floater. No good. Thompson rebound. 
4.20 left to go in the fourth quarter. Seven point lead. Thompson stops on a dime. And timeout, Coach Rowe. Timeout, Tigers. Woo. 4.13 left in this one, folks. There's your time. 4.13 left right now. This is unbelievable. It just really is. It's, just, uh, it's been a great one to watch. Tons of time. And I'm going to tell you, though, remember, both teams are in the penalty. There's time and already in the double penalty. Ten fouls against them. Eight against St. Joe's. Yep. So it's going to come down, you know, where you're going to need your free throws to, to, to win this game. You're going to need to make them flat out. It's going to happen. So it is going to get very interesting to see what happens right now the rest of the way in this one. This is uh, this has just been an unbelievable one to watch, and it just seems like every time you thought St. Joe's was going to be, you know, taken out of the game and it's going to go totally towards time, and there's just been this run. They just haven't been able to get over this hump past five points right here. Yep. So it's going to get very interesting. But, um, you know, right now, Timon, You've got to keep winning those boards because that is what has stopped every single run is because you've had some great job done on the boards that have really helped it out. Yep. There's a student section over there. They're trying to get loud for St. Joe's. Humphrey the inbounds man. John Grable oh, oh, wow. could and get the Steelers a fight for it. And it should be a jump. Wow, I don't no, know. No, if he I gave quite, a timeout. I don't know if I quite agree with that. He that gave would the deem, timeout. Yeah. That would deem that a player had possession yeah, and enough time for Coach Michaels to call a timeout. I'm not sure if anyone clearly had possession there. There is deemed to be possession. It looks like John Grable, they say, had it. So it's going to be Marauder basketball. That's a pretty big call at this point in the I, game. Listen, I'm, I, 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 I would, it was right in front of us, which is why I'm not sure he had the possession either. But. Either way, the call's gonna go to St. Joe's right now with 4.09. This is your opportunity right now to get this down to five or possibly even less right now. Your final score in that Kenesha St. Mary's game is Crusaders 83, Lancers 48. So the Lancers season comes to an end. Kenesha advances to the Monsignor Martin Championship. And again, what a year St. Mary's has, led by the Italian center right there, Massimo. Okay. Uh, Your guy. <laughs> Listen, not only a good guy, a true class act that kid is. He yeah. really is. Just to talk to him and the leadership he brings. You come to school one year and you turn yourself into that kind of a leader, that just shows the future is bright for that young man. And I cannot wait to see what happens for him. We're all going to be following you, Massimo, because you are no doubt a true leader. So 409 is left in this game right now. 409. Knox the inbounds man. Right to Jackson. Back to Knox. Glover guarded by Humphrey. Screen from Jackson. Jackson penetrates inside. Floater is good. Five point lead. Thompson over to Harrison. To Humphrey. Humphrey's gonna walk it over half court. 350 left to go in the fourth quarter. Humphrey guarded by Jackson. Glover nearly got the steal. Harrison to the corner. Parker for three. Malachi Parker. Corner three extends the lead to eight. Jackson, can he respond? No good. Thompson, rebound. Jackson comes away with it. Jackson, Euro steps. Shot is good. Solomon Jackson. Baseline floater is good. Jacob Humphrey guarded by Odom. Humphrey across half court. Six point lead for the Tigers. Harrison in the corner. It's a screen from Thompson. Parker guarded by Gooseby. Humphrey penetrates inside over Knox. Can't get it to go. Harrison offensive rebound. He missed. Odom running. And a foul on Kevin Thompson. Remember, that's two free throws, too. It's two. Isaiah Odom going to the line for two. Chance to cut the lead to four. So Amari Knox subs out, John Grable subs in. Big size difference for the Marauders in that substitution. Okay. 
I know what they're saying is they got to shoot one and then they'll bring in the players. It's a substitution thing right now. 2.55 is left in the game. You can see the score is correct up on there. Time in 60, St. Joe's 54. Odom misses the first one. Odom, second shot. Is good, five point lead. Thompson, guarded by Odom. Trap comes, Gooseby and Odom trapped. Carlock with it, he checks back into the game, he's trapped. He finds Thompson, Thompson to Humphrey. 2.45 left to go in the fourth quarter, Humphrey. Gets the play from Coach Rowe. Parker, guarded by Gooseby. Carlock, top of the key, guarded by Jackson. Humphrey backs it out, 10 seconds on the shot clock. Justin Glover with the steal to Solomon Jackson, clear the runway. Solomon, Solomon Jackson, Jackson takes the easy deuce. He gets the floater to go. Harrison slows the pace, goes inside. Thompson, right wing, three point lead. Thompson, mid range shot is good. Justin Glover, eyes up, guarded by Humphrey. Odom to Jackson in the corner. He goes baseline. His layup is good. Trading punches. 156 left to go in the fourth. Thompson tries to split the double team. He does on Odom. His shot is good. <laughs> Justin Glover, can he respond? Down to Jackson. Jackson for three, no good. Offensive rebound. His shot is good. I apologize, my voice is completely decimated by this point in the ball game. 64 timing, 61 Marauders, 133 left to go in the fourth. I'm gonna help out here a little bit. So right now is, you can see we got the score updated. It is exactly what you said. They're trading blows back and forth right now. Thompson has just put timing on his shoulders right now, saying I'm gonna carry you the rest of the way. And you've got it on the flip side, Glover and Solomon Jackson right now, stepping up big right now to try to pull this one off. 64-61, 133. Like we said, we heard that we heard the overrated chance happen at about 540. And it's 540. never gone well. Too early to do it. So now we got the let's go time and chance happening right now. Well, if you saw it over there, it was Principal Spillman of St. Joe's was in the rowdy section, getting them fired up. That's awesome. So both sides pulling out all the stops to try and give their team a little juice down the stretch. Humphrey on the baseline. Full court press right he now. He can't get it in. That might have been the fourth second. Carlock to Humphrey. Grable chases him down. 126 left to go in the fourth. Humphrey, top of the key. Parker, guarded by Gooseby. He's about an inch away from that half court line. He gets it to Carlock. Humphrey sets up the set. Three point game. 113 left to go in the fourth. Parker, right wing, spins on Gooseby. Gets inside. Layup is good. Malachi Parker puts the lead back to five. John Grable. Up top to Gooseby. Gooseby for three. No good. Missed everything. Thompson, another Thompson rebound. Thompson fouled by Glover. The freshman, Jameer Gooseby, took a big shot from the top of the key. And who is it comes up big with the rebound again? It's Thompson right now. 51.6 seconds left in this one. The guy you want on the line if you're timing is right there. Boy, I gotta tell you, the cameramen that are around this core, I mean, it just, it, 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 it's amazing how many people have been here. And that first one's gonna hit off the front of the rim, up and in right now. I, I, I'll tell you, we don't have, I don't have the stats right in front of me, but I gotta tell you, Thompson's gotta have 30. At least. But you know what I mean? Like, it just, and I'll tell you, and he's matched it in rebounds. like. I, the overall stats that are going to come out from him are just going to be unbelievable yeah. for this game. His second shot is good. 
seven point lead for Tymon. Glover to Gooseby. Gooseby inside, floater is good. 42 ticks left. Humphrey with it, trap comes. And Humphrey is fouled by Gooseby. Good sportsmanship, he helps him up. Humphrey with some massive free throws coming now. He's got two big ones. I mean, you had to put somebody else on the line that wasn't Thompson at this point. Yeah. And you really did. And that's exactly what St. Joe's has done right here. 38.6 seconds left in this one. And that first one's good. Humphrey's second shot, good on both. Odom gets past half court, drives to the corner, Gooseby wide open, his shot is good. Jameer Gooseby cuts the lead to four, foul, Odom fouls Robert Carlock. So Gooseby big corner three to cut the lead to four. So remember, it looks like the winner will be going to Canisius on Sunday. I don't think we've got a time that's been put into place yet, but it looks like it'll be at Canisius at Sunday, whoever wins this one. That one's for all the marbles. Robert Carlock's first shot is good. Five point lead, Tigers over Marauders, 26 seconds left in the game. Second shot from Carlock, he's good on both. Glover to Jackson. Jackson inside, shot blocked. Humphrey fouled by Glover. Solomon Jackson shot blocked. They're starting to feel it. Shot blocked, and who was it? It was exactly who you thought. It was Kevin Thompson. Comes up big again. I mean, unbelievable what this kid has done today. He has just been the man out here today. And Justin Glover has just checked out of this ball game. Probably the last time that he's going to wear a Marauders uniform. Eighteen seconds left in this one. You can see Timon is starting to celebrate right now. Gooseby across half court. Grable has it. Grable three pointer. No good, and it looks like this one should just run out. Kevin Thompson, the throwdown! Timon, you're going to the Mike Senior Martin Championship! Odom shot, no good. Your final score, Timon 76, St. Joe's 66. The Tigers punch their ticket. They're going to play the Crusaders. What a game, was a great game. Give right now St. Joe's tons of credit. I thought absolutely Solomon Jackson, Glover, tons of guys played out, came out to play. What a game, no doubt this is exactly one you wanted to be a part of, um, but an absolute great finish. And I'm gonna tell you, no doubt I think it's no secret where our player of the game is gonna be going to this one. Yep. And we'll get a chance to, as I'll be speaking to at the end of this game, Kevin Thompson. Yep. And I would just like to add, if, if you'd give me a second, a sort of quick thank you to, to St. Joe's, <clears throat> Mr. Brian Ankin, for giving me the opportunity to, to call the games here for the past four years. This might be the best, best basketball game that I call for the foreseeable future. So to everyone that stuck along with me for the four years, I thank you to St. Joe's, I thank you. Your final score here, time in 76, St. Joe's, 66. Thank you for joining us and look out. We will have, we will try to have that championship game for everybody on Sunday. But congratulations goes out to Bishop Timon.